In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create the watch face on this picture using the customizability functions in Bubble, Cloud, Widgets, and Wear Launcher. We are going to start by uh, placing a widget on our home screens. This is not strictly necessary. I'm just showing you how to do this. So we place a Bubble Cloud, an app Bubble Cloud on the home screen, resize it so we can add bubbles to it. It's good to give a name so we will uh, keep all the Android Wear uh, applications in this cloud. Then we press the yellow plus button to add applications. Uh, we need automatic uh, bubble colors and uh, we want to edit these bubbles after. I switched to time uh, display, so uh, uh, recently installed applications are on the top and you can see now how I already am adding the first bubble uh, to this cloud and the second one is the Android Wear application from Google. I'm adjusting uh, the uh, size of the icon. The last application I'm planning to add is a little harder to find, so I'm filtering on the name of the application Keep. You will see at the end of the video that um, uh, we are going to use this application. Uh, the app came up with the correct with a, with the color for the bubble, but we can correct that. Press the plus, the check mark on the top and see the cloud. Now I started uh, bubble cloud settings and went right into the bubble cloud editor. Uh, here, uh, now I enabled to show all the applications installed on our Android Wear device, then filtered on only the applications in the favorites cloud. Uh, now I sort them by size, so the biggest, biggest bubble, the time bubble, the clock bubble is on the top. And uh, I can click on the uh, keep bubble, for example, to uh, change its, its color. Uh, using the arrows, we can adjust the size of these. Uh, I will set all of these bubbles to size 2, except for the clock bubble on the top and 2. Uh, Moto Fitness Bubbles, which I set to 1. Uh, I, next, we are going to enable the new uh, Layout Designer, which now shows you, or as soon as I toggle the Auto Arrange uh, check mark there, it's going to show us uh, the uh, current layout uh, on the screen. So we see the same thing on our phone screen as on the display of the uh, watch. Now I can simply pick up these uh, bubbles, press them a little uh, for a little while, and then we are, going, we are able to drag them uh, to place. So I'm dragging them around the screen um, if I want more uh, precision, I can use uh, the magnifier icon uh, or uh, we can work more crudely uh, in the zoomed out view. Uh, since then I enabled the bump mode, that's the second icon at the bottom of the screen with the uh, light blue hand icon. Uh, so this, uh, in this bump mode uh, the app doesn't allow you to overlap the icons and it keeps a little gap between them. Now I place the clock bubble in the center and using the size adjustment tool I'm going to uh, make it bigger. And in the meantime I enabled the push mode which uh, then uh, pushes uh, the bubbles around the circle as I increase the size of the clock bubble. Uh, some more uh, adjustments are needed, so I magnify and you can see the push uh, option in action here when uh, bubbles touch, they push, push each other slightly, so this allows for very convenient placement uh, of the bubbles. Uh, the log bubble there in the corner is uh, put, is, at this point is put aside, you will see what we will do with it. So when we like the way it looks, uh, using the uh, gray arrows, we can make uh, more precise adjustments to the size and placement of these bubbles. I refreshed or 
transmitted the changes to the watch so you can see it on the watch screen right now. Now I'm assigning uh, live info bubbles or live info to the different bubbles so when uh, the calculator is clicked uh, or the cal calculator icon is actually going to be tomorrow's weather uh, and uh, the calendar app uh, is set now to show the current date. We are uh, also we also have some other uh, settings, the task manager uh, bubble is showing uh, the battery level, for example. Uh, let's change the color of a bubble there, so we can make uh, the Wi-Fi bubble look uh, or have this color. And another change we are going to do is we are going to enable the hotspot toggling functionality for the Wi-Fi bubble just by uh, pressing that icon there. So if that uh, is turned on, you have a, th a three-state uh, toggle. Now we change the look, customize the look of the clock bubble. You can change the background color and different colors of the textual bubble, the digital bubble uh, clock, uh, but a much nicer customization is possible if we uh, pick a background image for our cl uh, clock dial. So I chose an image from my gallery and highlighted an area of the sky with nice clouds. And as I save it, you will see uh, how it looks. I, you can also change uh, the, the clock hands, hour hand and uh, minutes hand, uh, but we will stop here with, with this one. Uh, next, uh, I enabled uh, the swap tool, which allows me to uh, reorder or uh, swap uh, the bubbles on my watch face very easily. I can uh, then I dragged uh, the lock icon over the clock and uh, made it smaller. So bubbles can overlap. It makes sense sometimes. So our uh, screen protection bubble is now uh, on the clock bubble actually. Now I'm uh, swapping the icons to come up with the exact layout, the exact order of these bubbles as I want them to. And here's a special thing. Now I copied all the um, uh, this uh, bubble arrangement, this layout to the clipboard and pasted it into the key program uh, which I uh, prepared earlier. This string of numbers uh, describes this cloud and can be sent to anybody or posted on our Google Plus pages uh, for anybody else to use the layout that you come up with. Uh, so there you go. I show you how uh, the log bubble works. When it's red, uh, you cannot move the screen. When it's uh, green, you can. And as I promised, in a few minutes, we created this uh, nice symmetrical arrangement.